and Co has become much more than just one woman's claim of innocence in a Russian courtroom. Now, this is the Russian embassy in central Kiev, and you can probably just make out, someone seemed to throw something just then, paint thrown at previous protests, there's another stone or something being thrown at the building there, paint on the walls there from previous protests. Down below you can see all the signs and the heavy police presence here today in case the sense of injustice across Ukraine, and there is a lot of anger about Nadia Sevchenko's case. Of course, she was a Ukrainian pilot captured in eastern Ukraine in 2014. Russia accuses her of involvement in the death of two Russian journalists uh, around that period. These people here today, the protesters who have come out in front of the Russian embassy and across Ukraine, see her as a symbol, a symbol of defiance, a symbol of hope, in the face of what a lot of Ukrainians believe uh, is Russian aggression. We came here today because uh, Nadia Savchenko is a symbol of Ukraine. It's uh, our hope. She shows, she shows the Russian citizens and the Russian government that Ukraine, they can't broke Ukraine. Thanks God we have such a hero yeah, who can, despite all the trials, despite um, all the hardships that she faces at the moment, she can freely express her opinion and she's not definitely broken. Her spirit is not broken. These people really see Nadia Savchenko as someone who represents the fight in Ukraine for true independence, true sovereignty from their larger neighbour, Russia.